I'm Claire from Dear Times West and I'm putting out a new album at the moment. It's called Spells. Um, well, Dear Times West began in late 2007, I believe, and um, I just had some songs and I wanted to record them. Um, and so I set about recording them with um, the wonderful producer Jason Shushkoff. And we spent well over a year recording an EP, um, late at night and on weekends, whenever we could find the time. Um, kind of began as a, um, I was playing a lot on my own, just in bars and stuff, and finding it really hard to find um, a way to communicate the sound that I wanted to communicate, which was um, obviously a bit bigger and um, than um, just me and um, just that I could create. Um, so yeah, and I guess I went about it a funny way and um, <laughs> a slightly backwards way. And making a record first, would, you know, normally people sort of start bands and then eventually you make a record. But I did it the other way around and continue to do it the other way around. Um, and so we made this EP and released it in late 2008 and then officially re-released it in May, 2000, uh, May, May 2009. And um, yeah, and then it just kind of escalated from there and I decided to make another record, a slightly longer one. Um, and here we are now. Um, this record was made slightly differently to the last one. Um, the last one was just Jason and I recording it all together. Um, and this record is actually self-produced. Um, Jason's pretty busy doing his own project, um, Cool Rainbows, and other producing all sorts of people. Um, and yeah, so I just really wanted to get on with it. And so I just sort of started doing it. Um, and I recorded, the first track I recorded was Blue and Gold. Um, and I kind of did it just to, as an, a bit of an experiment, um, just to see um, see how, how it would go. I was sort of recording at home, and um, you know whether it would be up to scratch and stuff. And I was really happy with the result, and so I just kept going. Um, and but I've kind of got in different people to play in different things, um, like um, Brent Harris plays drums and guitar and some songs, and Michael Ramirez playing guitar in a track and um, some different people, Ricky Sutton playing guitar as well. Um, and so it's kind of, uh, I've tried to let go of the uh, of some of the, <laughs> the um, monopolistic creative um, stuff when there's been other people involved and so there has been um, a bit of a collaborative um, spirit to some of the songs but then other songs is just me and um, like Blue and Gold was just very much just sort of me and um, and then Brent on drums um, and yeah so it's kind of a it's a different way it's a different kind of way than most bands kind of conventionally work and um, and but it's kind of like I kind of like to think about it like a, a project um, and kind of having different people on board and just having the freedom and the flexibility to be able to develop it into different things with different people and um, not pretending to the United Front when we're obviously not <laughs> and there's um, you know you kind of understand that when you come to two shows in a row and there's like a different bass player playing at the second shot and people kind of go hang on a second um, yeah and we've got a, a new bass player um, playing these album shows with us too so it's really good um, I recorded the album um, mostly at home um, and then kind of uh, bits and pieces over the place. Uh, a friend of mine's an engineer, used to be an engineer at York Street, and so we recorded that. The um, drums and bass of one song there, um, and then we, um, but yeah, the rest of it was just done mostly at home in practice spaces and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it was a really uh, interesting and hard experience. Um, I think doing it um, doing it the way I did, which was mostly on my own, in my bedroom, um, was really rewarding, um, but yeah, super challenging, and I don't think I will do the next record like that. Um, I kind of just want to like 
work with people now <laughs> and instead of being a loner um, but it was very rewarding it was really awesome um, kind of I learned heaps about just really simple stuff like how to mic things properly and just kind of working towards um, achieving um, different sounds and how learning how to kind of um, manipulate things so it to sound the way that you want um, yeah and then um, the, the album was mixed by Dale Cotton in Dunedin um, and he's a really exceptional engineer and um, kind of took these crappy bedroom recordings and made them sound like they were recorded in somewhere else not a crappy bedroom so um, yeah so um, he did a, an awesome job and yeah <laughs> Um, I'm Claire from Dead Times West and you can get my slash our new album um, Spells which is released on October 18th 2010 in New Zealand. Um, it's been nice.